Advanced Accounting 8, Investment in Partnerships. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of Singles Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, our email and our phone number, and the source of this information is from the Advanced Accounting text from McGraw-Hill. We talked about investments in common stock on the prior two videos. Now we're going to switch and talk about partnerships. And that generally, as an introduction, the rules for accounting for investment in partnerships are a little more vague and not as specific as those for common stocks that we saw before. We do have three basic methods that people use for this accounting. We have the cost and the equity method, which we discussed at length in advanced accounting 6 and 7. We also have a new method called the pro rata method, which, in which we recognize the purchaser share of the investment's assets liabilities and equity. We'll see an example where an investor buys a 40% interest in a partnership. The pro rata method says that 40% of the assets, the liabilities, and the equity gets reported on the purchaser's consolidated financials. I flipped over to Excel to talk about a comprehensive example for partnership accounting. And we're going to summarize it in a balance sheet. Here's our assumption. Levi's Jeans invests $100,000 in a partnership called Jeans Partners. And in return, they get 40% of the capital, the profits, and the losses. So on the left, we have Levi's Jeans results excluding partnership results. So Levi's Jeans standing by itself. They have revenue and expenses. They have, from the balance sheet side, assets, liabilities, and equity. And as we found out here at the top, they spent $100,000 on their Jeans Partners investment. On the right-hand side, we have the information for Jeans Partners, the partnership, revenue and expenses, profit. And as a footnote, we say there have been no distributions or withdrawals by partners. So all the money has remained in the partnership. Balance sheet information, assets, liabilities, and equity. This balance sheet example here shows the Jeans Partners information on the one column, and then it shows three methods of accounting for the consolidation between Levi's and Jeans Partners in this section. So we see that from a balance sheet standpoint, Jeans Partners had $2 million in assets, a $1 million in liabilities for a $1 million in equity. How does Levi's Jeans do their accounting? The cost method simply says we're going to take assets for Levi's, and we are going to add in as our investment in Jeans simply the cost that we paid for the interest in the partnership, $100,000. We add that to come up with total assets, we subtract our total liabilities, and we get an owner's equity amount of $1.6 million. The equity method's a little more complicated. As I said, on the, as we've seen on the prior page, the equity method assumes that the profits and losses for your share of the investment end up on your books. So let's see what happens. The assets are the same, but the investment in genes for the equity method is calculated right here. It's our cost for the partnership of 100000 and then it's 48% of genes, pro of genes partner's profit. So there's 120000 you'll see highlighted, times 40%. So the equity method says that our investment in genes is 148000 we come with total assets, we subtract the same total liabilities, and you'll see that our owner's equity under the equity method is higher than the cost method. And finally, we have the pro rata consolidation, in which case the assets, the liabilities, and the equity are all going to be adjusted for our percentage interest in the Jeans partnership. So here's the calculation for assets right here. We take the Levi Jeans assets and then we take 
of the gene partner assets. So we take $2 million times 40% to get the 800000 We add them together. That's our asset total under the pro rata assumption. Liability section, if I scroll down just slightly, we take the original liabilities for Levi's jeans, and then we take 40% of the million dollars of Levi Partners' liabilities. We take 40% of a million to come up with 400000 We add them together. We get $1.9 million in liabilities. We can subtract those two to get owner's equity. But to check, we can actually do the same calculation on owner's equity. Levi's jeans equity from above, 40% of the partnership's equity, and if we add those together, we get a check figure of the same $1.9 million. So what we've done is accounted for Levi's jeans consolidated balance sheet under three different assumptions. Cost method, the equity method, and this pro rata method. That's the end of our advanced accounting aid for our one-hour courses, Essential Topics in Management Accounting, also Financial and Others, using GoToMeeting.com where you get an entire hour at a time. You can find out more at our website. Our YouTube channel, Ken Boyd STL, all one word. You can register for individual tutoring and one-on-one -on -one live chat sessions using GoToMeeting. We also do small group sessions. Here's our website, our email address and our phone number. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.